We are in Manchester city centre at the moment and this poor gentleman is homeless as well, severely disabled, with a leg missing and they've left him to sleep rough. You've been to the council, you said, today again and they're doing nothing and they're leaving you to sleep rough and he's not on drugs or alcohol, he's a decent human being like me and this is what the country's become. We're going to be left like this till we die of the frost, aren't we? can't get benefits. He can't even get benefits and nobody's helping him because he's not been given a, a key worker or a social worker and that reason is because he is not on drugs and alcohol and he's not been to prison so they just ignore you because if you've been to prison or if you're on drugs or alcohol they help you. Yeah. I've been told that I have to pretend to be drunk or I, I'm coming off heroin and then I'll get help. I was told that by somebody on the phone once. It's terrible. So this poor gentleman, it breaks my heart because I'm in the same boat and the kids are going to be left to die. We need somebody to help us, please. Please, somebody help and do something about it. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. And how long has this been going on for you? Six years, eight months. Six years, eight months. Have you heard that? How he survived is beyond me. How do you manage in the cold... <laughs> With the lockdown, they were putting you in hotels. They had to then, didn't they, I think? No, did they? didn't do it. They didn't do it? Oh, my God, they've left him outside. Left me out and cold and on. How he manages. You, you go strong like a wild animal in the end, don't you? I mean, it's not fair. This man needs a life of luxury. We need somebody, please, to help us. I'm ill. I'm disabled, too. And, and I just want him to be in luxury. This man should not be suffering like this. Please, somebody do something this time. And, and show it to as many people as possible. This is Manchester City Centre. He's just one of many. Um, there's loads all over the country like this, and nobody's doing a bloody thing to help. But all these foreigners are coming in to get in everything. It's all yes. reading wrong. Yeah, I know. I've heard of that. And there's a man I wanted to contact. He's called um, Alex Belfield voice of reason will somebody please send this video to him because i'm useless with the internet and i can't get hold of him because he said yeah it's said in chester west apparently the people from this is it afghanistan this whatever what is it this place that they're coming from now afghanistan. yeah where they've had this they <laughs> they um have had um they're taking 600 people in in chester giving them all homes putting them in nice hotels but me severely disabled um who's never been to prison, never been on drugs or alcohol, a decent human being, has been told I have to sleep in a field, or go into this filthy shelter, which is thick with urine and excrement, as shared it is, to be raped by heroin addicts. That's all I've been offered, and that's the God's honest truth. So somebody needs to stand up. And this poor gentleman, I feel awful, because I can't do anything to help him, because I'm on basic benefits, where I'm hardly eating living off crisps and chocolate and any junk I can get hold of. And this poor gentleman is like this. Will somebody please do something to help us all? Please. Please do not ignore this video. Please do not ignore me and do not ignore this video. Do you want to say anything else? No, he's fed up, he is. And how old are you? 55. Yeah, and I mean, look how old he looks. I mean, he's, he shouldn't be in this position at his age. He should be enjoying life and... I mean, he's disabled. He's got a leg missing. They should have helped him. Where are these people at? It's terrible. And here I am here. Please, please do something. Please help us all. We're desperate. We need help. Please, please help us. Thank you. Okay. All right, sweetheart. I'm so sorry.